Number 12. Given the following information about the graph of a polynomial f of x, which one of the following graphs is possible for y equals f of x? So they give us some information in this problem, and we have to pick the correct graph. First, they say the leading coefficient is less than 0. That means that it's negative. So we have a negative leading coefficient. Leading, I'll just put coef. So less than 0 means negative, and then greater than 0 would mean positive. Then they give us the multiplicities. So the easiest way to do this problem is to add up the multiplicities. So the degree is equal to the sum of the multiplicities. So 4 plus 2 plus 1. So we end up with uh, 7. So we have a negative leading coefficient and odd degree. So now what you do is you think about the simplest function you know that has these properties. So there's a couple of functions you can think of. I like to think of negative x cubed. Negative x cubed looks like this. I haven't memorized. x cubed looks like this. This would be x cubed. Okay. In this case, it's negative, though. And then so you say, okay, this rises left and falls right. So rises left and falls right. So now you just look at the graph that has these characteristics. So it looks like it's going to be B. So the answer to this question should be B. So again, recap. You first look at the leading coefficient. In this case, it's less than 0. That means negative. You add up the multiplicities, right? That gives you the degree. And then um, you just think about the simplest graph you know. So one example is y equals negative x cubed. Think about what it looks like. This is what it looks like. It rises left and falls right. Then you just go over here and you pick the correct choice. Uh, this is called the leading uh, coefficient test. It's used to describe this stuff here. This is called end behavior. That's what this is called, end behavior. By the way, another function you can think of besides negative x cubed is negative x, right? That looks, looks like that. So you could also think of that one. So if you memorize the basic functions, um, you can answer these questions pretty easily. Another way to check your work, I wouldn't say it's the best way to do this problem, but you could check your work partially is to look at the multiplicities of the zeros. So negative 2 is an x-intercept. It's also called a zero of the function. And the multiplicity here is 4, so it's even. So whenever it's even, it should touch and turn around. So you see at negative 2 here, it touches the x-axis and turns around. 2 is also even, so at 1, it should also touch and turn around. And sure enough, it does. And then 1 is odd. So at 3, it should cross the x-axis, and sure enough, it does. However, I wouldn't rely solely on this. For example, if you look at choice C here, it also touches and turns around at negative 2, touches and turns around at 1, and uh, crosses uh, at 3. So the best way to do it is to use this uh, leading coefficient test. I hope this video uh, has helped someone out there who is working on math. That's it.